on Keppel Island. Uh, at the moment there's three metre tide. When you're going back to your boat, a good tip is always head well up wind before you uh, get there. And then if you're out or conks out, you've got a good chance of paddling back to the boat. We're still in the same anchorage uh, this morning as we were last night. Well, we're going to move last night, but uh, we really needed uh, 4G today, so we said, well, we'll put up with it through the night. And because it was low tide at 4 in the morning, we could stay here till 7 if it really got rough, and then we could move in daylight. Nicole's down here at the moment. Uh, Nicole's below. She's uh, just uh, looking at my last movie before we put it out on the uh, air. There she's, you know, doing everything right. And there we go. Just getting to the end there. Liking to thank my shore crew for coming along for the ride. We've had five pleasant days in this. Uh, Anchorage on Great Keppel. I've just dropped my daughter off on the beach in the dinghy and she's going to walk to another bay which, was, which is on the northwest corner. And uh, the farthest you can get to the west anyway. And it's got a uh, marine parks boy in it you can uh, moor on and it's got coral. So we're both rather smelly need a shower so we're going to go for a swim and then have a shower today but uh, it's been very pleasant we'll probably move on in a few days go over to Yapoon I'm picking my daughter up up in this bay with a deep walk for it it's a mile from our anchorage we walk up and down the hill In the centre of the great screen is North Keppel. Oh, and while I've been talking, the sun's just gone down. We've got two other boats in the bay just next to us. They've just come round from the other side of the island because it's going to blow from the southwest tonight at uh, probably 30 knots. We spent five days at. Uh, Great Capital anchored in this bay. One lovely boat here. We've been walking this beach behind every most days for a bit of exercise. And now we're off to Roslyn Bay Marina where we're going to pick up some diesel, some water, and uh, Nicole's going to uh, risk her life on the bus and go and get some food, mainly fresh vegetables. Four o'clock in the afternoon and we're heading north. We're going to stop at uh, Yapoon at Euros Creek, blow the dinghy up and go for a walk. And if we get blown off uh, Yapoon in the night because the wind's in the wrong direction, we'll just sail on north. Sunset over Yapoon. 
central Queensland, Australia. Got a 6.30 now and I've got the anchor up. And I'm just leaving Yapu. I'm heading uh, up the coast by Byfield National Park and on to uh, Freshwater, hopefully. Got a little bit of breeze which is blowing off the land quite cold today. You know, when we're, you must remember, because this is going to be a bit late, this is when the cold snap came through. And uh, it's not too cold here, but you've got to wear a jumper. Uh, I've, I've, I've done everything in the underpants, I've got the uh, anchor up and everything. Now I put all my uh, shorts on and everything because uh, I didn't want to get my bottom wet. Anyway, off we go. low-tech panorama oh what is it 360 coming on round there's the marina on the bow there anyway it's a lovely day so well uh, Well, we're on our way now. Just over here, I'll show you it in a minute. This is the, uh, I think it's the Wasaki Resort. It was built by the Japanese for Japanese tourists to come to probably nearly 20 years ago now. It's kind of been in uh, a few financial, gone through a few financial problems. But uh, anyway, I don't know much about it, but the palm trees are growing. Coming along to the end of the sand, sand at, uh, at Yapoon, and then there's a place called Curio Bay Water Park, which is in there. But there's a big sandbank goes between here and the uh, headland there, and uh, at low tide it's uh, basically dry all the way out there. It's, uh, my daughter's down here uh, doing downloading her uni. 
it's the last chance of uh, before we uh, run out of mobile range. So if she's on Zoom or downloading her Zoom uh, lectures. Nicole surveying the uh, coastline like Captain Cook. And I'm downstairs here looking at the coastline out of my windows. We're going down to Five Rocks. And this is Stockyard Point on our beam. Nicole's on the helm here. Trying to uh, make sure I don't get decapitated while we're taking the film. Yeah, Nicole's very excited about going by Five Rocks. She's seen Dad's uh, movies before and it's quite an awesome, you know, rock at this thing here. You can see the tide's low at the moment, but uh, they make five individual rocks when the tide's in. It's pretty cool. I like to do the Five Rock Traverse. You'd like to do the Five Rock Traverse, yeah. would you? Yeah. Well, you might go along, go up yeah. every single one. Well, you might have to come with your, 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 your uh, uni mates. Yep, by uni mates, club. but not part of UQ Urban C. This would <laughs> never get past Risk Assessment. <laughs> Wouldn't it? No. Okay. <laughs> We're going between an island and these rocks on this side. And I'll swing on round. And an island on the other side. That's Port Clinton on the bow. And Freshwater is behind that cliff over there. So we'll go and visit Freshwater first and I'll show Nicole that and then we'll decide if we've got enough wind to uh, get to Pearl Bay. We've got the protein line out the back, still haven't caught anything. Nicole. She's wanting to check out the climbing here, so she's got to get fairly close. And being pretty educated, she knows the topography of the cliff is generally means that when it goes down deep like that, straight down, it's usually fairly deep off, off the uh, coast as well. It just carries on down. But she'll, she'll get nervous in a minute and want to tap. And it needs to jive. Are you going to jive then, Nicole? Go on then, off you go. Just pull it in and let it go. Ooh, very well done. Not a bad jive. I'm just going to go along the cliff now, up to fresh water, checking out the climbing. Nicole, very keen here. Taking a picture of this. There's even a rock rod on top there, Nicole, just to throw over at somebody. Hey? <laughs> you know, maybe it's big enough that you can sling it. Well, we're going past some fabulous scenery here, just, just past Port Clinton. My daughter's downstairs having a rest. Going by this rock, we're doing about three knots and we're doing about six knots and there's nearly three knots of tide just here. Coming into Pearl Bay, I've been busy, I couldn't film it, I was too busy reeling in the protein line. Anyway, looks rather nice in here, nice and calm anyway. Sun just going through that island there and lots of hoop pine. Pretty nice dude, I think worth blowing up the dinghy mm. to go ashore.
got us in. Where are you? Wave. Yeah, you're in. I'm in. We're in Pearl Bay. In central Queensland, watching the sun go down over Island Head Creek. That's the view out the office. <laughs>